how's everybody doing? Um, interesting times, interesting times that we live in. I, um, some of you know that I'm kind of just like stuck on the couch. My foot isn't broken, but I, um, it's hurt pretty bad. I can't put any weight on it, but it's certainly better today than it was yesterday. So pretty much stuck uh, in front of my computer and uh, we're just doing our thing here. So I guess we can talk about a couple things. Number one, let's assess the Bitcoin market. One of my most least favorite patterns, stupid little head and shoulders, one could say. When you have one of these patterns on like the 15 or the 30 minute, um, that's strong. We'll see if we get a head and shoulders plus like a flick off. I feel like it probably would happen um, off like the 60s where the head and shoulders and then like we come back up and then dump, right? Um, but that doesn't necessarily look like the case as of right now. So we'll see what happens. I have my money is on shorting. I believe it's too early in the week for us to be holding like a 6,500 level. Um, so if we come back down to even the 6,300s and even then, um, I well, 6,300, I'd be a little more confident for support. The 6,100 uh, level, the more I think about it, I don't know, it can kind of go both ways, but I wanna show this chart, very interesting chart. We're going to call this the broken foot. Pay attention to the dates here, right? Um, this was after the last pump in 2014. We retraced back down, right? Had a couple uh, descending triangles and whatnot. And then a head and shoulders pattern. Well, even, the, even the little pattern, this is technically a reversal pattern too. You guys can read this for yourself, but whatever. And we went back up, right? And so now we're kind of in the same thing. And as I search my feelings, I feel like we could certainly be in the 6,500 range through November and December if the Chinese Rothschild uh, don't lift the blanket and pump it before. But we are within the realm. So I find it to be a little more likely in the next year when we start seeing a come up, but I could be absolutely wrong. All it takes is the push of one button of the Chinese Rothschilds and everything changes. Um, but I wanted to show that chart because I find it uh, found it interesting. For crying out loud. Okay. Oh my lord. I'm about to throw this darn thing through the window. Alright, you know what? Alright, next subject. I... I'm showing this, um, and I have a message, is funding secured. You've probably seen funding secured because they would spam any th program that like the Oracle or anyone else got into. Um, when I got into Wall Street, funding secured was spamming different channels. And I was like, this is a damn scam. These guys are scamming um, or they're spamming. And it's not what I'm talking about. Don't put your money in, right? Well, it turns out, you know, I spoke. I ended up speaking with the developer on my own. And um, here's what I'm going to say. In order, I conveyed, like, what I wanted in a contract with games and all kinds of stuff. And basically, um, he kind of put the nail into the coffin per se with ethereum dApps for me in that they won't be able to support what i want it to and i don't want to release too much information because i don't want other people to steal the ideas that i have but here's what i'm going to say i deposited money into this contract to show the developer that i am serious about working with him on a couple projects in the future here's the clue i will leave that what i want to accomplish cannot be done on Ethereum. So it's going to have to be used on a different platform. Um, something like EOS, right? You can build, there are people, there are developers right now that are building 
first person shooters on the EOS platform. That's all I'm going to say. No way in hell can you do that on the Ethereum blockchain. So, um, I'm not even, I put a channel to funding secured, like in my discord, I'm not even telling anyone to do anything. Um, yeah, there's like a card game and shit. That's like, what I like about these guys is they work for their own. They don't have any YouTubers promoting them. Um, but they are hard workers. And so if you want to get in on this, um, I don't know what I'm clicking here. Hang on. Okay, so 172 ETH was like them doing it all by themselves. There's like four guys. I like the guy that I talked to, the head guy. So I'm not telling any of you to put money into this because I think in the future there's going to be a platform that um, we're going to want to sink our teeth into. And I didn't put much. I got 8,000 tokens, you know. But so I did this to show the developers that um, I mean business in the future. That's what I'm gonna say about that, okay? So yeah, I'm just sitting here with like a broken ass leg. Um, that's pretty much it. Good luck. Oh, and uh, I tell you what, let's get a, we should get a poker, some poker thing going. So if you see this, Video, if you play poker and you want to get it on the table with us, um, I don't know. Let's get one started right now. Peace.